What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on this godforsaken website called YouTube. Um, the, the video we're going to be looking at today is one that's been, that's been talked about for like about a week or so. Um, this thing's been going on for a while. Um, if, if you're aware of the shaving, the, the razor brand, Gillette, um, I'm pretty sure you've heard of this. Uh, it's based, it, Gillette uploaded an ad on January 13th, basically saying that men need to change and that men can do better. And they bring a lot of points in this video that ticked a lot of people off because at the time of me recording this, it's at 24 point one million views that's a good view count but there's just the the like to dislike ratio on this video is pretty disappointing we have 62k likes over 1.1 million likes and the, the the like and dislike ratio tells you automatically like Hey, this isn't the best. This isn't. This isn't. This is not gonna be a good video, and a lot of people are talking about this. So I felt like I should give my own opinion about the video. This video, not because it's a popular thing at the moment. No, 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 no. It's because I'm also a man, and I feel like I need to share my own opinion about it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The Me Too movement against sexual harassment. Okay. So what I would like to point out first is that they bring out some important things. They bring out the word bullying, which is one thing which apparently whenever you say like, oh, that kid's bullying me, you somehow automatically think it's a male who's bullying you. Because a lot of people have mentioned this, but I'm going to mention it as well. Men aren't the only type of gender that bullies. Girls do it too. Okay? Men aren't the only ones who bully people. Men don't do it. Females do that shit too. Hate to break it to you. But girls do it too. They bring up the Me Too movement as well in the video. And at this point, um, the Me Too movement has been kind of been fucked with <laughs> the me too movement isn't in my opinion the me too movement isn't like proper it's not it's not firm it's not up to the standards because people would do anything now just to get into that movement and also why do they have um mark ruffle ruffalo in this ad I'm pretty sure that's Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> why, why is he in this ad? Can someone please explain that to me? Why is Mark Ruffalo in the ad? And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his last name wrong. But why is he in the ad? I just want to know that. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. Okay, so you see that he, this, this kid is being messaged. Um, now I want to say disrespectful things, but not nice things to him. And he's crying and he's hugging his mom and his mom's supporting him. But if you see the messages he's being called for is a freak, a sissy, you're such a loser and everyone hates you. In my opinion, those are weak insults to anyone. Those are the that's 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 the lowest you can go to insult someone. Like if I was called a loser, a sissy, or if I was told that everyone hates me, to me I wouldn't really care because because at this point they're basically just telling you what they think of you. And again, men are the only ones who do this. There are a good amount of females in this world who do this same thing. 
There are m women in this world who cyberbully. It's not just men that cyberbully. Women do it too. But again, the insults that kids are de getting, he's basically crying over nothing. Like, you can call this guy, like, some something way worse than what they're saying. And that will probably make him cry. But these things, these are weak insults. Try better next time. It's been going on far too long. Okay, now, now they show like men and how they treat women with like music videos and ads and stuff. Um, I can see why that would be an issue, but at this point in time, like, come on, that's kind of kind of a kind of the culture that we live around, right? That's like the twenty first century culture. So, sure, we shouldn't really be endorsing this stuff but again it's not just men who do that stuff there are women in the world who go around whistling at men touching them in inappropriate ways it's just it's not just men who do that stuff and this ad is seeming like it's all men's fault men is the problem and we need to fix that it's not it's both genders are the problem and they need to fix themselves in their own way we can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. That that's a very common excuse. Boys will be boys. But again, pure point is that too. Those two kids, they're not fighting. They're not full on hitting each other and bruising each other and doing bad things, they're not injuring each other, they're play fighting. Is that a thing that kids aren't allowed to do nowadays, wrestle? You can't wrestle? You can't, you can't wrestle? The way I feel about that, that excuse, boys will be boys, you, you can use that excuse to an extent. Like, if 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 a boy and another boy is fighting, I can feel like that can be an excuse. Like boys be boys, they fight. They're more the the they're more of an aggressive um, gender than the female. Even though when females fight, there's this the only the, they can, females can get aggressive sometimes, but men when they fight, it's it's a more common thing for men to fight than for women. Um. But like, if 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 a man is accused of like rape or abuse, and you use that excuse, that is not a good excuse. But if a, if a man is fighting another man, I feel like that's a perfect excuse. Boys be boys. Like, it it's a boy thing to fight, to use their fists negatively sometimes. But something finally changed. And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. Uh, apparently we can't tell women to smile now. <laughs> apparently you can't do that. <laughs> what the heck? So... If I'm taking a picture of, like, let's say, my mom, or a um a a man of female comes up to me and asks me to take a picture of her and her husband in front of a um some piece of artwork or something, and I ask him to, if I, and I ask them to smile, you're telling me if I ask them to smile. The husband will walk up to me and tell me not to do that. Because apparently asking women to smile nowadays is offensive. That makes no sense. Apparently we can't tell women to smile. What are we supposed to do? Like, can, can we still tell them to frown? Frown, please. Frown. 
It it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Bro, not cool. Not cool. Apparently, we can't approach women in the streets now, too. I can see what they're getting at there. Like, like the way he was, like, I think he was touching himself when, when, he, when he started to walk over to her. But, hey, but apparently, um, that's also wrong. Approaching women in the street or anywhere and having a civil conversation with them. Apparently, that's not a man thing that's a bad thing to walk up to women and ask them but like, yeah that that's also a bad argument you, you, like i don't know why that's not cool that's such a bad thing to say you're telling me that i can't go up to women on like like the a college campus or I like a restaurant or somewhere walk well, up to them and say hello I can't do that now because like this this is true this has gone to the point where like if you just accidentally bump into a female like accidentally nudge a female like you don't mean to but you accidentally run into them or brush against them <laughs> again my own would automatically accuse you of rape and call you a rapist just because you accidentally ran into her and you didn't mean to but in her eyes she's like oh you, you actually you wanted to touch me i'm gonna sue you for rape for that oh, man. <sighs> what a crazy world we live in some already are in ways big Yo, men. and small i am strong i am strong But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay, okay. Helping a kid when he's being chased by other kids and beaten up? That makes sense. Help the kid. He doesn't deserve to get beat up. Depends what he did, though. But most of the time, he doesn't deserve to get beat up and all that. But, again, those kids, they're not physically beating each other's heads into the ground. They're play fighting. And <laughs> apparently, again, that's a big issue in our time period. Kids can't play fight. So, so if you're a kindergartner and you go in recess and you rest with your friend, no, nope, can't do that. You will be sent to the office. Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. Okay, that's basically the end of the video. Um, the last thing they say, the boys of today will be the men of tomorrow. And I, I'm going to take this literally. <laughs> um, I see, what I see what they're trying to say with that message. But in reality, a boy will not be a man tomorrow. He'll be closer to a man. But he won't be a true man tomorrow because a boy, I'm, I'm going to say a boy is around the age of 12 to, let's say, um, 14 or 15, okay? He hasn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> so, he's not a man. He's becoming a man. But he's, he has to go through the cycles. If you're a boy and you wake up the next day as a man, I'll be worried about my body. Because overnight you're not supposed to grow a beard and grow hair, chest hair, and any other type of hair that men grow. Like, if that happened to me, if I, if I went to bed and woke up the next morning, the morning with a full-grown beard, a ginger beard, I'll be very concerned. I'll be very concerned. <laughs> so, I get what I'm trying to say, but in reality, boys will just, it will just take time for them to evolve. Don't expect them to be men the next day. It takes time for them to understand that stuff. 
and it's going it's going to take time for them to become a better man, a better human. It's going to take time for them to better themselves. It doesn't happen in one day. So yeah, guys, at the end of the day, this video is basically just like it's basically just like the Pepsi ad. If you remember the Pepsi ad that happened like a, a year or so ago, it's basically this. They think they're sending a correct message, but to the public, they're, they're just disagreeing. So anyways, guys, that's basically it for the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'd like to see what you thought about this. In my opinion, it was just, it was just stupid. And basically everything they said, it's men don't, men do that. But not just men, women do all that stuff as well. So that's a good thing to argue against. And anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hope you hope you guys have a rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.